I'm Anil Kumar and before we get into laws of exponents, let us try to evaluate some interesting uh, exponential terms. In this particular video, we will see how negative of a number and negative of exponents could be evaluated. So we have three questions here. We need to evaluate minus 8 whole to the power of 2 over 3, minus of 9 to the power of 3 over 2, and 9 to the power of minus 3 over 2, right? So these are the three expressions for you. You can pause the video, evaluate these terms, and then look into my suggestion. Right, so the very first one is minus 8 to the power of 2 over 3. We could actually do it in a couple of ways, and here I'll show you two different ways of doing the same. So the first one, we will say, let it be uh, minus 8. You could find the cube root first and then square it. So we could have cube root of minus 8, that is 1 over 3, and then we will square. Okay, So that is our first way cube root of minus 8 is minus 2. So we have minus 2 square and that is equals to 4. Right? So we get 4 as our answer. Do you see it? So that is one way of doing it. The other way is that we could actually square it first. So we could write this as minus 8 whole square. right? And then we will do cube root. So you could do either way. Correct? Now here we get 64 square of a negative number is positive right and then cube root so so you could write 1 over 3 also and that is cube root and cube root of 64 is indeed 4 so we get exactly the same solution right now let us do the next term which is minus 9 to the power of 3 over 2 remember in this particular case negative is not to the power of 3 over 2 it is like minus of 9 to the power of 3 over 2. Now, whenever we have to do such things, you will realize from here that taking the radical part first is better since we work with smaller numbers. So, what we will do here is we will find the square root of 9 first and then we will cube the answer. So, as you could see, there were two ways, but we select this one. This is indeed a better way. So we have minus square root of 9 is 3. You could write like this also. You could write like this also. It is one and the same thing. That's an alternate way of writing in the radical form. So that is minus square root of 9 is 3. So we have 3 cube. And 3 cube is 27. So you get minus 27 as the answer for minus of 9 to the power of 3 over 2. Okay. Now let's do the last one here, which is 9 to the power of minus 3 over 2. This negative power makes 9 as a reciprocal. So we could write this as 1 over 9 to the power of 3 over 2. You get the idea, right? So that is how you could write this expression. Now, we will first do the square root. That is to say, we will do 1 over square root of 9. Square root of 1 is 1, so I left it as such and then cube it. That is to say 1 over 3 cube which is indeed 1 over 27. Right. So, so that is how we will solve this kind of a function. I hope these three examples give you a fairly good idea of what we are getting into. Now here are a few cases for which we may not have any solution. For example, if my question is, so these are additional questions. Let's say minus 8 to the power of, instead of 2 over 3, if I write 3 over 2, then what happens? Well, in this case, what we need to do is first we need to, either we could cube it or square root. If we square root, minus 8 square root and then cube, we know square root of minus 8 is not valid. Do you see? So we get not real. So that is not real. So remember if this would have been like this there was no solution, no real solution. Okay. So so that is how we'll do it. Now let me change this question a bit here. If I write minus within the brackets, that is to say minus 9 to the power of 3 over 2, then can you tell me what is this equal to? So that is an exercise for you, right? 
So try to do this particular exercise. And here is a question for you. And that is to say that if I write minus 27 to, I mean 27, 27, okay, minus, let me rewrite, minus 27 to the power of, so minus, let us say 2 over 3, right, minus 2 over 3. So what is this equal to? So that is a question for you. I hope this will give you good practice to understand and evaluate exponential terms. I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe and learn a lot from my videos. Thank you and all the best.